some businesses in San Francisco have begun using security robots. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, only it's not. It's real. And he's currently on patrol here at the Financial Plaza. Tell us about uh, your favorite Nightscope crime-fighting story that your, your robots have been able to do. If you just go to the FBI crime clock, you see, you know, a horrendous amount of violence and property crimes every few seconds in our nation and therein, therein lies the evidence of what we're doing is not working um, and I think it's time we fix it. Now your robots don't carry weapons and I'm sure you probably get this question all the time. Is this something maybe you're planning for the future? Is that Could that be an evolution? I'm Ed Bernardin, VP of Strategic Automotive Initiatives at Siemens Digital Industries Software and host of the Future Car Podcast. So for the Star Wars fans out there, uh, the company was founded in uh, April of 2013. We put the first one out in the wild May the 4th of 2015. Uh, so may the force be with you. And honestly, the team, we are very concerned internally because no one's kind of actually done this in the real world. Here with us today is William Santana Lee, CEO and co-founder of Nightscope, which is a company that dreams of making the USA the safest country in the world using robots. There's no risk capital, there's no innovation strategy, there's no accountability. And that's why in the year 2022, you've got security guards out there literally in the parking lot with a number two pencil and a notepad. And that has got to change. Nightscope robots can now be found across the nation in hospitals, banks, casinos, and more. So we had all the evidence to prosecute, and to me, having a crime fighting win was awesome. But also, for years and years and years, you have no idea how hard it's been to build this company. And they are even becoming effective tools for police agencies. And then now we've started adding more law enforcement agencies like the Huntington Park Police Department that has uh, done very well with the technology and, and continue to renew the contracts. Um, so we're, we're, we're excited about the, the future. How do these robots operate? How does the public feel about law enforcement machines? And how are all the recordings and data safeguarded and used responsibly? Join me, Ed Bernardin, and William Santana Lee on the Future Car Podcast for a blink into the future of robotic law enforcement in the USA. Listen to the Future Car Podcast on the official Siemens website or wherever you listen to your podcasts.